can do it using open strings like that or I mean you, you can use any combination of notes really very good another way you can do it is uh, is uh, even like this like out of F Or you can uh, do it like a something in D or G or anything like that. And uh, you can actually use it in, with double stops. I could use the A double stop and then I'm using a B double stop. And then the open string. And if I want to uh, do the same idea with like a holding a, a B double stop down and then making a B double st stop here and then using that right there okay what I'm doing with the bow to make this work right and the bow is pretty critical to it uh, to making this sound right is basically I'm changing the bow on the top note whatever that top note would be uh, out of the whole thing, the highest note. In, in this example, I'm going to use uh, playing out of A, like. Every time I start that, hit that note, I change the direction of the bow until I come to that note again, and then I change the direction of it. Now, uh, another way to do it is is uh, do several times before you change that. You know, like if you want to, you can do it that. I can, you can do it this way, where I'm changing every time, or you can do it every several times. See, that time I was doing it every second time. That was, I'd go. So, so I would do it tw twice before I'd hit that. But the, the key to it is definitely changing bow direction on one of the times, you know, setting a pattern where you're doing it when, on the high note, not any of the other notes. And it gives you a smoothness to it. And it helps you to play it faster, I think, if you get the, the bow thing happening right. You just don't want to be, you know, doing that. That don't sound good. You can use the same bow technique with that. Instead, if say I'm not playing that, but I'm just same bow changes makes that sort of thing smooth too. Here's a lick that's really cool. It can be used in a lot of ways. Things like that. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting with the bow up. I actually start on it. So I'm starting there. Let me show you the notes. Now you can start with, start there, or you can just start. I'm starting a lot of times, I'll use those pickup notes. And uh, what I'm doing with the bow is I'm starting upwards the whole time, all of that. And when I hit the A note, I go down. So then I switch back to start over again. So the only time I'm hitting down with the bow is on the that the high note. You know, it just takes a little bit to get where you can speed it up. And so you can change that. 
you know, where I'm just... Now, if you wanted to do it in, uh, in F, getting the, this double stop position, and just, so you get it. And then you can change it for, which I'm just, now my, my bow, when I slow it down, is not going to be correct, so don't pay any attention to that. And you can do things like this too. I mean, instead of just doing that and that note, you can actually make it walk down from brisco. Like. And then I'm just using that, like making an F7. All right, now a thing you can do in, in A or a lot of these keys, like the, uh, or D or G or anything, using this same double stop we started on you can uh, you can actually do it there the same way we did it and then move up to this double stop where it's and what you're going to do there is sorry or so But now when I go up, see, I, it's like I finished the phrase up here. It's a, sorry about the pitchiness. Okay. It's harder to do slow than it is fast. All right. So. You can also, you know, the same kind of walk down pattern we did in F. You saw me rock my finger like that to get that. In real life, I'm not doing that. I'm actually just holding both of those down with one finger. So it's. So you can, that kind of thing, you know, and you can do it in D, it's using the same positions, just, or in G. Now, another thing you can do is use that sort of thing in a, like, one of these kind of things, like a D or G or C double stops, you know. And what I'm doing is same principle. Now what I'm doing is every time I'm using that note, putting my finger there, I'm also I'm just leaving my finger on both of these. So I can, there's not a lot of moving around. And up here, same thing. I've actually got my finger on both. My bow isn't hitting it all the time, but it's ready for that. So I don't have to rock over or do anything silly. Now, if you go up with this double stop, Use that for your high note. You know, so you can do, you can put these things together to, uh, during uh, impro improvising over, over chord progressions, you know, that, that are real cool. If you're pretty creative with them, you can do pretty sloppy, but you get that in. So you can use them like that too, in, in there. So, 
I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> I can't slow it down. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm jumping up. That I figured it out. <laughs> it's like a. Then I jump up to there. So. That was it. You can do that sort of thing. You know, you can. You can put them together in all sorts of shapes, and you can do things where you mix the first example of things. The that thing you can you can do things like this, mix the two together. You know things like that. <laughs> 